Shall I go for it? Yeah, I've just thought I'd go down to the library and do a bit of research for my novel. Going to spend all day there again? Yeah, possibly, because uh, there is plenty I need to dig up there. I never seem to see you these days. You're like a ghost lodger. Oh, it's, uh, it's not intentional, Mary. It's just, you know, nature of writing is solitary and very time consuming. Well, I've just made a pot of tea. Don't be a stranger. Come and have a cup before you go out. Oh, I was... I was Yeah, yeah, sure. I can have one. So, um, your book's coming along fine then? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's getting on really well. I've got plenty of inspiration right now, scribbling away on stuff, yeah. Oh, yeah. You write day and night, but you never show me anything. Oh, but. Please, it's nothing personal, it's just, you know, I've got these rules. I never show anybody my finished work and I never reply to criticism, that's it. I see. Anyway, it's good that you're keeping busy. Yeah, yeah, I feel that too. It's, you know, my dry spell is over. This is the creative one. And, uh, you know, I have to thank this place. It's, it's great, I love it here. I'm glad that you're comfortable here. I take it you'll be staying on? Oh yeah, I think I'll, I'll finish my novel here and dedicate it to Mary, the best landlady ever. No need to dedicate books to me, just paying your rent on time would be fine. Mary. You're a month behind. I'm out of work. Why not put writing on hold for a while then? Get a normal job. God, you know I'm illegal here, don't you? Do you have to get reminding me all the time? Yes, because you're living in my house. Look, I'll find something. Just... Uh... Well, I'm off to town now. Can I get you anything? Any shopping? Anything? No, I'll get myself in a bit. Right, uh, well... See you later then. I'd love to be a librarian, you know, books. It's not really the stuff I do anyway, but... I can't even work as a volunteer. It's just not possible for me. Mary, <laughs> she, she just don't understand. Oh, she probably pitches me. She thinks I'm useless. All because I want to be a writer, yeah? 
Now I've got to interrupt on my fucking novel. I can't work in it anymore. It was going so great. Ugh. I can't stay at Marys anymore. Since there are no prospects for me here, she says, I ought to go back to my own home country. She doesn't understand. She doesn't understand what it means. to go in, but I forced myself to walk on. I really can't afford to drink here. I gotta sort myself out first. I gotta be firmly on my feet, then maybe I can afford a pint of bitter. Do you wanna take two? So, how's things in town? Yeah, same old. Any luck? Ah, oh, went around some agencies. You know that's pointless. They won't take you on without a work permit. I oh, know. Any other ideas? Yeah, well, tomorrow I reckon I'll go through the job newspapers. I'm sure there'll be something. Paul, how much longer do you intend to stay here rent free? A week. The light was just, you know, windows was miserable. The light was grey. You know, one of those days when it's like, you know, you just, you're not sure why the fuck you wake up. You know, some some people say, it's, uh, you know. You wake up and you think, oh, how am I going to live today? Well, now I, I wake up and think, how the hell did I live yesterday? How did I survive it today? That's really my concern and, you know, my job, so... Uh... I didn't sleep at that either. Didn't, didn't sleep at all. I was. Every time I thought of the street attack, abuse. I was just. My heartbeat was just. Nah, I can't tell you, just adrenaline, just hammering my temples and stuff. It's just. You know, my hands were shaking and. I was up all night. Too little to do. You said it yourself, Paul. You're rusting away like this, but forgive me for saying it. You're not very well adapted to life. Look, I told you I'll find something. Honestly. You said yourself, if you didn't find work by the end of the week, you'd have to go. It's a Sunday. Have you found anything? Oh, 
Well, I've been in town and you know I've had a chat with a few people about the, you know the situation with you know cash and hand jobs and stuff like that. And uh, well, it didn't go very well because the legislature is real quiet. It's the time of year. You got to be patient. And, you know, Does that mean you didn't find any work? Then? Uh, uh, by spring I'll definitely get one. I mean, maybe it'll be just an efficient trip, sure, but you know, it's a job. And what are you going to do till then? Eat and sleep here, spend all day in the library writing your book? Well, you know, it would actually give me a chance to, for once, concentrate on my novel. You know, I'm probably here, in this, you know, without the bloody visa, because I want to make it as a writer. This you know? is all very interesting, but if you haven't got a better plan, I suggest you spend the rest of the day packing. Fine. Sorry, Paul, but this is the only way. I can't have the stress of being responsible for you. I have my own things to deal with. I understand. So what are you going to do now? Take a plane back. Have you got the money? Tickets aren't cheap. No. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I'll be all right. Good luck, Paul. Thanks for having me. Library as usual, just to you know pass some time. Obviously, nobody they knew I was homeless by now, so I just sat, just picked a few books, started reading, tried reading, failed miserably because I was just too disturbed. I was thinking one good tonight, one good tonight. Then you know, just came over me this fatigue. I just passed out. I must have been asleep. Don't know, ten minutes, an hour. I don't know. So uh, the security guy just shows up and pats me on the shoulder. Says, hey, "You're right, mate." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, sure, sure." Yeah. I thought he'd recognise me because I was there like last previous days and you know the day before but now nah, he just said you know you want to take a hike so I, I just had to walk out. I'm, I'm quite an expert in European literature you know Camus, Balzac, you know Simenon, all these things I'm you know I've read them all since I was a kid but fuck me if it mattered to them library stuff I don't think they've read it but they, you know they just think I'm a tramp for them I'm nothing else the library and you know just dreaming about something I'm, I can't still come to grips with it I'm just in my you know in my small little world everything is fine you know I'm, I'm rising I'm progressing but to be honest on the outside it's, it's all gone
Well, I'm desperate. I'm trying to imagine my future now, I'm, I'm picturing all this uh, grim, grim sort of perspectives. You know, last couple of years I've been completely poor, now, now I'm, I'm, I'm skinned beyond belief, I'm on the street, I'm, I'm a tramp, I'm, I'm just... Uh, but yeah, they, they would say ask for help, social services, but I'm not going to, I'm, I don't deserve it, man. I, don't, I really don't. I knew it. I knew I'd end up like this all along. <laughs> 